Teacher Ninette here. Welcome to another episode of our Let's Learn Maths with Teacher Ninette. In this episode of our video, we will learn how to solve word problems involving time. Before we proceed to our main topic for this video, let's review finding the starting time. Let's try to answer this word problem. Rosario packed some cookies in bags. She finished packing them at 12.26 p.m. She took 1 hour and 50 minutes to pack them. When did Rosario begin packing them? In this problem, we can use the timeline or we can visualize the face of the clock. We know that Rosario finished packing at 12.26 p.m. And we want to know when did Rosario begin packing them. We know that she took 1 hour and 50 minutes to pack them. So we can count backward by 1 hour. 1 hour before 12.26 p.m. is 11.26 a.m. So we can cancel out to 1 hour. Next, we can divide 50 minutes into 26 minutes and 24 minutes. Now, can you tell me what is 26 minutes before 11.26 a.m.? Yes, it's 11 o'clock a.m. And finally, what is 24 minutes before 11 o'clock? Yes, it's 10.36 a.m. Answer, Rosario began packing them at 10.36 a.m. Good job! Now let's try this problem. Hafiz watched a movie on Sunday. The movie was 2 hours and 10 minutes long. The movie ended at 9.25 p.m. Question, what time did the movie start? We can also use the timeline and we know that the movie ended at 9.25 p.m. And we want to know what time did the movie start? We know that the movie was 2 hours and 10 minutes long. So 1 hour before 9.25 p.m. is? Yes, 8.25 p.m. And 1 hour before 8.25 p.m. is? 7.25 p.m. And finally, 10 minutes before 7 25 p.m. is you are correct 7 15 p.m. so the movie started at 7 15 p.m. now let's try to answer the following problems involving time first problem Ray is a magician. He spends 45 minutes performing a show. He is paid $90 for each show. He performed two shows on Sunday. Question number one. Write the time spent by Ray on the two shows in hours and minutes. And... How much money did Ray earn for two shows? In order to answer this problem, we need to an analyze and read again the problem. Ray is a magician. He spends 45 minutes performing a show. He is paid $90 for each show. He performed two shows on Sunday. 
Now, we are first to ask, write the time spent by Ray on the two shows in hours and minutes. How to solve that? We need to multiply 2 by 45 minutes, and that is 90 minutes. Remember that in one hour is equals to 60 minutes. So we can divide 90 minutes to 60 and 30. So 60 minutes is equals to one hour. Answer, Granny spent one hour and 30 minutes on these two shows. To answer question letter B, how much money did Ray earn from the two shows? We simply multiply 2 by $90 because he is paid $90 for each show. 2 times 90 is 180. Yes, Granny earned $180 from the two shows. Let's try to solve the second problem. Andy spent 1 hour and 40 minutes doing homework. He spent another 45 minutes on his piano lesson. He finished his homework and piano lesson at 5.30 p.m. Question, what time did Andy begin his homework? To simplify the problem, first, Find the total time Andy spent on his homework and piano lesson. Andy spent 1 hour and 40 minutes doing his homework and another 45 minutes on his piano lesson. To solve this, we just simply add 1 hour and 40, 40 minutes and 45 minutes. We will begin adding the minutes. 40 minutes and 45 minutes is equal to 5 minutes. In this case, we can break down 85 minutes to 60 minutes and 25 minutes because we know that 60 minutes is equal to 1 hour. We are left with 25 minutes. Now add 1 to another 1 hour. 1 hour plus 1 hour is 2 hours. Andy spent 2 hours and 25 minutes on his homework and piano lesson. Now, we know that Andy spent 2 hours and 25 minutes on his homework and piano lesson. We want to know what time did Andy begin his homework. We know that he ended at 5.30 p.m. And we want to know what time did Andy begin his homework. Given the 2 hours and 25 minutes, we will visualize the face of the clock or count back by 1 hour. 1 hour before 5.30 p.m. is 4.30 p.m. And another 1 hour before 4.30 p.m. is 3.30 p.m. And finally, what is 25 minutes before 3.30 p.m.? Yes, it's 3.05 p.m. And he began doing his homework at 3.05 p.m. You did it! Good job, everyone! Remember, if you're going to solve word problem involving time, remember to analyze the problems carefully. And number two, visualize the face of the clock. And number three, you can always use timeline. I hope you learned 
learned something new in this video. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again next time. Bye!